Hello, my name is Dr. Casey Kewen. I am an assistant professor of teaching in the Manufacturing Engineering program at UBC's Vancouver campus. And my name is Dr. Christoph Seelman, also an assistant professor of teaching at UBC's Vancouver campus. My focus is on automation and hands-on practice within the program, and I'm excited to show a bit of our lab space at UBCV. My focus is on the material side of manufacturing. I really love making things, and we'll be working closely together on project courses in your second and third year. Automation is a cornerstone of modern manufacturing. Programmable logic controllers, robotics, supervisory control and data acquisition, cognitive computing all play a role in industrial automation. Our labs at UBC are equipped with industry standard and upcoming automation learning technologies that enable students to develop practical skills in automation design. Now let's take a tour of the main undergraduate laboratory in the Manufacturing Engineering program, the Makerspace in room 219 of the Frank Forward Building. This is where most of the undergraduate lab courses are taught and houses most of our manufacturing equipment. The Automation Lab Kit is equipment you might use in Menu 386. It contains electronic and pneumatic components that simulate sensor and control endpoints that you might encounter in a factory. The programmable logic controller acts as the brain of the automation system, orchestrating carefully designed control sequences and responding to feedback. SCADA serves as a computerized interface, or HMI, between the plant automation system and its operators. These technologies are found throughout Canada and the world, wherever industrial automation is required. Critical infrastructure such as water and wastewater treatment plants, food processing facilities, chemical plants, materials fabrication facilities, and many more use these components in automating their processes. This is our induction furnace. This piece of equipment heats metal above its melting point so that it can be cast into shape by pouring molten metal into a mold. Robotics is a fun and important topic in manufacturing and takes so many different forms in the modern factory. Robotic systems strive to emulate some of the more versatile behaviors required in manufacturing plants with a high degree of automation. Robotic arms can load and unload fabrication equipment like CNCs and conveyor belts, as well as apply tooling directly to materials in shaping components and final products. Our labs offer students exposure both to simulated robotic systems as well as real robotic arms to offer insight into what is possible and how to achieve it. We use this convection oven to cure composite materials like carbon fiber. You can find carbon fiber in airplanes, sports cars, and even sports equipment like bicycles and hockey sticks. This high temperature box furnace is used to heat treat metal to improve its properties. It's amazing what the right heat treatment can do. Our injection molding machine heats up plastic and injects it into a mold under extremely high pressure. Many plastic parts you see today are made with this process. Thermal forming heats the plastic material until it reaches what we call the rubbery state, then uses vacuum to form it over a pattern. The inside shell of your fridge is likely made with a machine like this. 3D printing is a relatively new technology that's finding its way into many applications. We have a number of printers that can print up to 100 by 100 by 100 millimeters and a larger printer that can print 300 by 300 by 600 millimeters. 3D printing is an excellent way for students to get an introduction to making something while being introduced to electronics, software and material science all at the same time. This mechanical load frame is capable of lifting the equivalent of four cars at the same time. We use it to test manufactured parts to study the relationship between manufacturing and performance. UBC's Okanagan campus hosts similar manufacturing laboratories. Let's have a look at their facilities. The EME houses many unique teaching facilities and labs. The manufacturing lab has industry standard manufacturing machines on a smaller scale to convey the principles of programming and machining. There's also the addition of robotic arms and a modular production system to mimic real life manufacturing processes. Soon to come will be a cyber physical factory so students can experience modern manufacturing processes and the fundamentals of industry 4.0. We all look forward to welcoming you to the manufacturing program at UBC. Thank you.